if you're anything like me, you are not a great graphic designer and you struggle to make things like a Facebook cover, a, a Twitter cover page, uh, Google Plus covers, just anything graphically, just because your eye can't see it. And I'm just one of those people. I don't have a great eye for it. I know what I like, but I'm not the, uh, the most uh, gifted at graphic design. My name is Dean Etheridge, and I do work with small businesses, oddly enough, on some of these things, but I outsource the, the tough things. But the easy things uh, I can do, and I, I use some tools, and I want to show you one of the tools that I really like that will help you too. And I've got a, a Twitter page here that I'm editing today, and as you can see, I don't have a Twitter header right here, and I want to show you how I can make one completely free using Canva which does not just Twitter headers, but they do Facebook covers, Facebook posts, Instagram, blog graphics, all kinds of cool stuff, but just a great tool that's completely free to use if you don't use your own pictures, but I think you'll love this. So follow along with me in this video and you'll see exactly what we can do to make a, a really nice looking Twitter header. So if I load this, it will load a canvas up and these are my options here. I can search here and I can type in SEO. And that's really what I want to focus on in, in what I do. And I can download this. I think that shows me that the price for that is a dollar if I want to download this. But I uploaded my own image. But let's just, um, I'll go to upload my own images. And this is the one that I want to use. Okay what I'll do is I'll drag that over and get it to size but I do want to make the background a different color so I can change the background on that make that just a little bit smaller but I don't want that to show again this helps me avoid making some mistakes it's starting to look like something and then I can go back to uploads now I've uploaded my logo before and I'll drag my logo over here. Now what I want to focus on in this header is kind of build my brand as a we're a small business marketing agency. We we help them on a, a fairly small budget and we make it affordable. So I'll just take this text, shrink it, And I'll just play with this color just a little bit. Change that to white. A little bit smaller. Let's see if we can get that text to match just a little bit better. I can just change this. It gives me all kinds of options. It's changing that color right there and that's going to match my color in my logo just a little bit better. I think that's pretty close right there. But that looks a lot better than what I had. It, it sends a visual message that, hey, we do some search engine optimization. We work with Bing, Yahoo, Google. And I'm missing one other thing that I want to put in there. iText is a big part of what we do. It's a trade exchange. See if I can find anything with YouTube that looks halfway decent that's transparent. But you can go out and search for images. Okay, now I've found an image that I like. Okay, put pretty cool graphics, so I'm going to download that as an image, and I can do it as a high quality PDF if I want, if I'm a realtor. And they've got <clears throat> flyer covers for realtors too that, that make. Uh, Terrific flyers for housing images and that kind of thing, but I'm just going to use this Twitter header. And let's go back to Twitter, and we're going to add this header photo and see what that looks like. My YouTube image is not there. Actually, I need to fix this just a touch. Just going to adjust the size just a tad. But I think for the most part that will do it. Let's download that again. Let's see if everything looks better didn't like the way that background looked so we're just going to try it one more time now to me that looks pretty good so I'm going to go ahead and save that and apply it and it looks pretty fantastic to me so anyway that's how simple it was to change 
my header, which is looks great to me, tells more about what I do, does a little bit more for my brand, and I didn't have that. I, I don't do a lot on Twitter, but if you do and you do anything on Facebook, Canva is a great place to go out and get some really nice looking graphics for Facebook, uh, flyers for real estate agents, food and drink menus, just all kinds of things that you can do to do some custom designs here. So yeah, this right here, for example, is a menu, which is beautiful. And I don't know how much that is, but they have some free versions of this, but I know you'll love it. It's completely free to use if you use your own images, but it can make you look more like a graphic artist if you're graphically challenged like I am. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a like or a thumbs up or leave a comment if you have any suggestions. And feel free to subscribe to my channel where we put out videos like this a lot that help small businesses and other people looking to learn how to market online all the time. So I appreciate you watching this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care, everybody.